The first thing that must be mentioned is that only one M code can be used per block. M00 is our first code. This is the M followed by two zeros, not two O's. M00 is the command for program stop. M01 is optional stop. Now this is different from M00 because in M01, even though we can put it anywhere we need to in the program, the machine controller will only use M01 if a physical switch is activated on the controller. If this physical switch is not turned on, then the machine will simply read past the M01 and not use it. M02 is end of program. This code is less used than M30, which we will discuss in a few minutes. When M02 is read, the program ends and the cursor typically will just sit flashing on this block until the operator chooses to reset the program. M03 is spindle on clockwise, and M04 is spindle on counterclockwise. It is important that if we are writing or using a program that uses both M03 and M04, that we use an M05 to turn off the spindle when we're done with it, or we make sure that the proper spindle on M03 or M04 is activated for the proper tool. M05 is spindle stop. This code is used, of course, when cutting action is completed and the tool is no longer needed and is going to be put away and exchanged for another or just put away or just stopped. M06 is automatic tool change. On many CNC mills, there are multiple tools available in a carousel or a physical library that the machine has access to. Uh, these machines have the ability to automatically change tools so that the operator does not have to stop the machine to do it themselves. This is a very important time-saving code for manufacturers and operators of machines. M07 is a coolant on function. On some machines, it is turn on coolant mist, and on other machines, it is the command for turning on coolant through. Through coolant is used with tools that have been manufactured with holes through the shank in some carbide drills, U-drills, and other types of cutting tools. The coolant, by means of a high-pressure pump, is sent through the spindle, then down through the shank of the tool, and exits at the cutting edge of the tool to provide cooling action and high-pressure chip removal at the cutting point. M08 is another coolant on function, but this is coolant on flood. This turns on all coolant lines to provide as much coolant as possible to the workpiece and the tool. This code, however, does not turn on through coolant. M09 is the command to turn off coolant. This command turns off all coolant, whether it's M07 or M08. M19 is the command for spindle orientation. This is a useful code when needing to set up a tool that must follow a specific path, like for instance when we are tapping. The spindle orients or goes to a pre-programmed location and repeats accurately every time we bring up that command M19 so that we can start a tool in the exact same position every time. M30 is program and reset. We mentioned that M02 is program end, but M30 is more commonly used as it also resets the program instead of just ending at the end of the program waiting for the operator to reset it. 
As previously discussed, some CNC machines have tool libraries or carousels allowing access to multiple tools at any given time. While one table is inside the machine with the work holding and the work piece and the tools are manufacturing on that work table, the other table is outside the machine and the operator is able to preload that table with work holding and a work piece. When M60 is called up, the table or the pallet, as it is more commonly called, is swapped out for the pallet that the operator has preloaded. Once the new pallet is inside the machine, the door locks and the operator can now unload the part that was just being manufactured inside the machine. M98 is the command for call up sub program. Sub programs are used to simplify cutting processes and machine usage. This will be discussed at a later time. And finally, M99 is the command to end a sub program call up.